Hello and welcome to the second video about mushrooms. If you haven't seen the first one, go and take a look. It should give you some tips and pointers, which we may not cover in this episode. And hopefully you will enjoy this one as much as the first one. And make sure you stick around because we'll be giving you some top tips on how to make these mushrooms look even better than just a block by block tutorial and uh, yeah let's uh, let's get straight into it shall we so we're going to start off with this uh, this mushroom design here on a fallen tree and this was very much from sort of going around a forest and and looking about and seeing some some mushrooms growing on a fallen tree so that's where this concept came from and uh so i guess firstly we want to choose the log that we're going to use so in minecraft the double log so the spruce or the uh, jungle are, are probably your your natural go-to's because they're two by two so we're just gonna lay down some log like so Ooh. and then we want to think about how we're going to shape this so do, do we want it to be where it's been sawn off like like that you know is that a natural cut which I think is a bit too solid so maybe we we do something like that where it's uh, sheared off and we you know, we could think about how how does this match up so maybe we go one up there and then that one's right at the bottom and then we can go like so so that if you stuck that on top of that that would fit perfectly and then we've got this area over here so let's uh, let's do something similar like so uh, no let's let's go like that 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 probably looks a bit better so from here we want to think about where our mushrooms are going to uh, sort of spring up from so thinking organically we'll probably go right maybe one's grown out from underneath the trunk uh, one's grown from the top here and we'll just have one sort of central like to go with odd numbers because they just look a little bit more visually appealing so from here we want to think about the shapes we want our mushrooms to take so we as will naturally happen in nature the uh, the, the plants will sort of try and grow away and towards the sun um, whereas mushrooms you know they, they don't want to be too bunched up so we want to think right maybe this one comes out maybe up one more uh, yeah there we go that's pretty much the same as that one there this one will do something similar will come up no, we don't want that we want that like so and then this one here will will come out to the side and then up uh, up over here so there we go we're, we're just pulling in some temporary uh, thought placements we want to make sure obviously it looks good so everything sort of connects in a clear way so maybe we'll just put that one there um, so that we've got that connection up here that's fine we can probably work just off of that and then here uh, we've got the, the sort of connection on this corner edge here which we haven't got there so do do we want to do something like that I think maybe maybe we'll do that 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 might no, let's I think like that actually you're right so then we've got that and then from here we're going to want to start creating our mushroom caps so you know, it's really a case of placing it and and trying to think how this mushroom would would sort of lie um, you know, will we will we have a bit of a dynamic shape so oh, and this is the the trouble that we're having with mushrooms it might be easier to begin with that you you do everything using a wood block um, and then you can go back and replace it once uh, once you've got the right color and shape so is that is that a good shape yeah I think so maybe bring bring that one down I think what we want to do is just shift everything over like so so we'll bring this one over bring that one 
we go. Shave off that. Uh, and then bring that one out like so and then I guess we probably actually want to go there there we go uh, I think maybe we head up like so a bit square at the back here so let's think right okay we want to come out like so so you've got that almost curved shape here and actually that one might do better off down there so it's more of a drooping uh, kind of cap of a mushroom I think that that looks pretty good pretty good maybe we just do one more no I want to want to keep that up there we go that might be hmm, that's probably better actually can see the droop so now we want to go in and replace these blocks with the chosen block that we've chosen or chosen mushroom block and there we go so I've left in a couple of these blocks because they actually do look quite good because they they match slightly with this uh, brown mushroom block and it just gives it a bit more texture and then inside what I like to do is just sort of place blocks so that we get this change in the mushroom texture inside uh, so it looks like the gills of the mushrooms are, are open rather than just being one color so if you're here you can see through into that uh, texture on the inside so I think we need to come over and think about how we're going to do this one so let's just do a roundish cap like so yep and then I guess we'll bring this down so let's place a block like so and then we'll come around and just bring everything into a pretty standard shape Okay, I actually quite like the, the shape of that, even though it's pretty much mirror image, I think it actually works quite well because we've got even numbers each side. Uh, I guess we could probably sort of just droop this down a little bit on that side, that would be fine. So then if we go back in with some of these um, stripped spruce woods then uh, it will give it a bit more texture and colour so I think if we, if we go and then maybe that one there like so and then again we'll come in on the inside and just give it some texture there we go and then if we want maybe on these ones down here there we go so we've got a bit more texture on that and then last we will just come over to this side so this is this back mushroom here uh, so what we'll do is we'll just do two and this one will be slightly smaller so I think let's do that there and just put a little extra on that edge at the back go I think that probably let's get to we'll bring this one here there we go I think that one that looks great yeah so then we'll just come in and we'll just put in maybe one yeah, two I think that's that's enough and there we go that's that's our mushrooms growing off of our 
fallen tree log. I think that that sort of looks kind of like it should. Uh, obviously a little different to this one, um, but there's nothing wrong with being a bit organic. So design the stem, make sure you've got the links, and then start with the top and then build round uh, the sort of falling area. So if you've got something sort of drooping off, think about that curve. Okay, so this one we, we come up and then there's a slow hump and slow decrease over to this side. And you can do see something going the other way there. And then that looks pretty decent overall. Now, moving on to our next red mushroom over here. So for this mushroom here, we are again using our mushroom stem block and then we've got the red mushroom block and then we'll use the end rods for our little mushroom. So let's start with our big one. So we'll have a single block there and then a small corner and then we'll go up two or three and then we want to then bring it up like so into the top up here so um, what you don't want to do is make this transition too quick I think we'll put that one there so there's this connection along this line here and then what we want to do is come up and decide how tall we actually want to make it and I think that's probably a decent size so you want to come down from the top here by two and place in some blocks like so all the way around and then we want to fill in this gap up here so you know on a couple we'll start slightly higher uh, on a few others we'll start slightly lower so maybe on this because this is the corner we'll, we'll go higher because the mushrooms are being pushed up and then from here we're going to come down again uh, on these middle sections like so, so we've got some different heights once again and then from here we want to really think about where we're going to go with this so do we want this to come up slightly higher in certain areas or, or slightly lower so maybe on this side again we go slightly higher and higher there and then just make the change slightly variable around the whole of the mushroom so again here we'll go yeah we'll go down two so we've got this base here like so and then last but not least we'll start high on that side and slightly lower there there we go so that's starting to form the shape and then Towards the bottom here, we're going to want to come in a little bit. So I guess we'll just bring in there, there. Uh, yep. Bring it in there. And then we'll leave this slightly higher. So this will come in a little bit earlier, like so. And we'll put that like that. There we go. Yep. And ah uh, there there we go so you've got a bit more of a shape so we can we can play around with this a little bit uh, obviously with these mushroom blocks we need to be prepared that you're going to get that gill look to it when you place it next to each other uh, I think we'll put that one up there there we go so although it's slightly different we've got this bit that bulges out and then comes in and then you want sort of two blocks for this more pointy look to it. So it's sticking more of an arrow up. Um, and then that looks, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, different. And in here, you can come in and do the same and place blocks. So you don't always have to go all the way down. Maybe the mushroom is still sort of revealing itself. Struggling to squeeze in here. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'd say that's that's pretty much there. 
and then for these smaller mushrooms for the taller one we can easily just pull it up put a block on top maybe maybe we want to give it the the gill effect and then place rods like so and then if you want to, to get down and do one under the shorter ones although I've got the endless rods from the vanilla tweak pack we can do it like so so if someone's got or doesn't have the vanilla tweaks the base of the end rod will be at the bottom of the mushroom almost like a, a, a cuff kind of thing so there we go that does the trick yeah there we go three looking good so over here we have two new designs uh, well we've got more but these two here will go for first so what we want to do is just place a wall a diorite wall and then we'll grab the mushroom block and then one of the stripped spruces and then just do a small uh, two by two here and then another wall and this will look like a, a mushroom sort of stem about to sort of come off and then on top we can uh, do another mushroom uh, maybe we just over this side we place a couple like so so these are sort of smaller mushrooms uh, that haven't quite got to the size up here but are bigger than your uh, standard minecraft mushrooms and then this one is slightly similar we again use the wall and then we'll come up three and then we'll use a variety of red concrete and the red mushroom block so again what we want to do is just try and be a bit organic in terms of our placement so uh, it's a sort of a, a three by three shape so over on this one we've got this sticky out bit so that's quite easy for us to do uh, we can just put in one of these like so and then we'll probably just do something like that get rid of that actually we don't want the that there we'll go down and then put a bit of red concrete at the bottom almost like it hasn't changed into a, a full mushroom block just yet and then on the back side come down do a mushroom a couple of mushroom blocks and then we'll put in that there maybe oh, get rid of that one there we go and that's uh, another slightly different design and inside yeah why not let's do that gives it a bit of texture there we go so two very easy designs very quick to put up and using the diorite just gives a different to uh, the typical mushroom block there we go right on to the next ones so these are the sort of next size up before we get to the big big ones I guess these these ones which have really thick stems uh, so these are still only one block wide so what we want to do is just build up a few blocks probably five there and then this one over here is coming off the side so about there we'll do so fourth block up and then up here we're just going to come off to the side so again using other blocks other than the mushroom block to pillar up and then I guess we'll just come up one more as well so we've got a bit more of a distance from this block here and then I think we'll come over like so so we've got this sort of Y shape in, in a certain uh, perspective with these you can do something very similar so we're going to come up five about five yep yeah, five no four yeah four then off to the side we'll place a block like so with another one up to the side so we're, we're sort of spreading uh, our, our sort of sense of reality here to a certain extent uh, and then we'll come up over here and then up again giving us plenty of space to work with there we go so that's 
another Y shape. These are good for sort of two or three limbed mushrooms. And then this one is, you know, we're, we are sort of coming up in just one extended uh, mushroom stem. So look at this comes up four, one, two, three, four, up two, and then up one into the top of the mushroom like so there we go so back to this one so as you can see here we've we've put some mushroom on the base here so very easy just three blocks like so and then this one will be a bit more sort of freestyle so let's think about how we want our base to come out maybe just one there and then back to the beginning and then here we'll place that one there and two like so you don't want it too big because it will just overpower everything do the insides yeah I think that that looks a bit better and then oh, you can put one there if you like as well and then up here we're going to start with the top so just bring this out there we go we've got six and then i think what we'll do is put two on this back end and one there there we go so we've got a, a good shape it's not square it's not circle uh, and then underneath come down and then we've got to put in this sort of ring around the bottom There we go, I think that looks good and then we'll bring this down on that back corner as well So we've got a, a bit of a droop and it's not such a, a flat shape actually we can probably there we go, I think that looks much better actually. And round this side again, oh, like so. There we go. Yeah, that looks a hell of a lot better. Right, so we've done, done the inside of that. Now we've just got to do this. And I think what I'll do is I'll just do this top bit rather than uh, coming down any further. There we go. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Try and try and do different elevations and different points and shapes and that sort of thing, and that will work a tree. Now, onto these two, we'll we'll do something similar, but we'll mix it up with the brown and the striped spruce or stripped spruce. So we put in a mushroom there, and then on this one over here, we've actually got some. Sort of young growth coming off of it so we can do something like that just to give this variation and then it looks like this is being held together more than just a very thin gap and then up here we've got uh, quite a small mushroom really growing off the top so we're going to variate it like so do it so so we've just flipped this almost and then we're going to come down here we can put in some blocks on this lower section just to give it some variation in height there we go and actually i think we could probably get away with coming up like so no 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 we can't <laughs> There we go. I think that that looks better. Definitely looks better. Okay, and then up here, this is a bit more of a flat top. So we'll we'll do a similar pattern, like so, and then we're going to go round all of this, like so, and then think about how we're going to give it some depth because that looks too flat so let's give it a little bit of shape down here uh, we'll 
come out a little bit and this one can come along like so one more there we go fantastic so that is that one done uh, yeah I think that's fine perfect and then on this one this is much more of a flat shape so maybe hasn't quite got to this maturity of this one so you can use our blocks like so just to sort of give it a look that this is starting to, to do its shooting off ready to grow big and then up here we can do a bit more like uh, your standard large brown mushrooms with a uh, flat top and just sort of round it off a little bit there we go maybe remove that and let's put in that texture like so there we go that's that's those three but what we can do is grab our coal fan and then we can just place it around the base or around the stem as if it's got some sort of growth coming off of it so you can use different varieties of, of fans as well just to, to, to make it look slightly different there we go just gives it a little bit more texture so for for this area around the base what I would definitely say is take out a rough area of where you'd like this think about it not just being a solid area and a few little bits that have either spread or uh, haven't been turned to grass and then what we can use is a variation of the podsol and coarse dirt not forgetting some of the mycelium uh, as these are mushrooms they're they're going to grow better in minecraft on on mycelium so we want to give a good variation of this uh, all the all the way around the base Good amount of podsol and the coarse and just a little bit of the mycelium uh, just to break it up a little bit so it's not all uh, browns there we go and then what we want to do maybe a couple of bushes in here like so and then green And then a little bit of the mushrooms so these will grow on the podsol and or be able to be placed on the podsol and mycelium there we go as if they're sort of growing off or, or underground and i can't think what they're called but the roots of the mushroom are, are growing uh, up and along and you can also grab some ferns these work quite well as well just place uh, one fern, we don't want to overdo it, maybe one there, no, yeah there we go and now that's become a lot more integrated into the world than this, this, this looks like it has grown whereas this looks like it's been placed. So doing that on all uh, around your world will definitely make a difference as you can see on this one we've even even put in some uh, cobwebs you know, where, where potentially a spider might sort of put a cobweb or, or put somewhere to grow and then we've also put on the uh, vines to make it look like you know, it has been uh, lying and the world is starting to break down this tree so that is going to be it for this tutorial i'm going to do another one on these bigger mushrooms but just done a quick edit of this and we have made it quite long already so we will end it here and uh, join me next time for the next tutorial on big mushrooms see you soon bye